Today we'll be talking about Multimedia Sciences Vector Resolution Demo Software. The software is designed to look at a number of situations where a vector that is at an angle can be broken down into the X and Y or vertical or horizontal or uh, north and east components. Let's take a look. Here are the examples that we'll be looking at. Uh, drag box, the inclined plane, and then three on a boat sail. Start with the drag box. Here is our box. You can see it's being dragged by a uh, vector, a force vector, and we can change the angle. The applied force is 300, and as uh, we change the angle, the 300 um, that is in the horizontal direction to start will slowly change and be broken down into the X and the Y or the vertical and horizontal components. So this is very a uh, very nice way to illustrate to students exactly what is happening that this force as it changes its direction is doing two things. Uh, perpendicularly, it's pulling horizontally and it's pulling vertically. Uh, you could have students uh, calculate out the answers for a given uh, angle and then see whether or not they are correct. Then we have the inclined plane. Uh, one of the things that uh, you can make clear to the students is that all these situations, all these real life situations um, can be solved the same way, that the uh, breaking down into components is the same process. Um, of course, the, um, the way that they're broken down may be different. So for the inclined plane, um, as we change the angle, here we're changing the angle of the inclined plane. Uh, we no longer have a horizontal or vertical we have a planar and a normal force. And the weight, which is always straight down, is broken down into a planar force, which is trying to drag the object down the plane, and a normal force, which is pressing the object against the surface of the plane. So very similar to the first demonstration. Then we have the boat sail. Uh, we've got a wind, which in this case is coming from the left. All of these are set at 300 as the starting force. In this case, now we have a sail. And as we change the sail angle, you can see that the 300 is broken down into two parts. One is the forward force, which is the force that is driving the boat forward, and the tipping force, which is the force that is trying to tip the boat over. Uh, so students are interested in sailing. This is a nice demonstration to talk about uh, vectors of the wind on the boat sail. We're going to look now at two simulations that take the, um, the idea of a vector being broken down into parts uh, for sailing a little bit further. In this case, not only can we change the wind angle, Excuse me, not only can we change the sail angle, so this is exactly the same as the previous demonstration, but in this case we can change the wind angle as well. So you can see how, uh, depending on the direction of the wind, how you can try to maximize the forward force on the sail versus the tipping force uh, on the boat. So again, you would ask questions of the students to say, well, gee, where would the maximum forward force be for a given uh, direction of the wind? Finally, we have the second um, sailing simulation. In this case, uh, we can illustrate how do you get the boat to go forward when the wind is not in the correct direction. In other words, it's it's coming from the front of the boat. Now, obviously, if you didn't do anything with the sail, you can see that the boat would go backwards. But 
if we change the sail angle properly, we can find a place, a sail angle, where we get a part of the wind force to be going in the forward direction. So again, if you've got students who are interested in sailing, you may have, you know, have the students come up and use this simulation as the way to explain how you would um, use the wind to uh, move forward, even if it's, it's going in the wrong direction. So that's the vector resolution demo. Um, I, I use it as a lecture device, or if possible, I might have students, after we've gone through a couple sample problems, come up and have a student go through each one of these and describe what's happening and why it's happening, and have the other students um, do some sample calculations. So if you'd like to find out some more information about the um, resolving vectors uh, software, uh, you can go to Multimedia Sciences Teachers Pay Teacher site. Uh, this is the URL. Uh, and then uh, type in and search for the vector resolution demo software. Thanks.